everyone. How are you all this morning? I didn't see you there. I'm so glad you came back to join me. Let me just have a little seat here and uh, tell you what I'm doing today. For those of you who are new, uh, this year I'm doing a 1,000 pond challenge and it's uh, the challenge is to divert a thousand pounds of my own personal uh, garbage uh, instead of putting it out and either uh, down the trash I mean down the down the drain or in the trash or even out for recycling which I do that too but this is going either back into my worms or compost or my garden. So um, this is week eight. Uh, it's uh, it's been a it's been a challenge. The first few weeks are very easy because boy, you've got cardboard boxes or uh, you know you've got things that you've kind of collected along the way. Uh, I had corks I was saving for someone and they decided they didn't want them. So hallelujah, there you go. Um, so as the weeks have gone on though, this is week, as I said, this is week eight and I'm getting slim pickings. Um, I was using grass clippings. Well, this is still our winter, so we haven't really gotten uh, much in the way of grass. Uh, Rick cut the grass and I think I got a pound and a half of grass tips. But I wanted to go over for those who are new that it's uh, fruit and vegetable peels. Uh, I keep a pie pan in my freezer on the one shelf and as I'm cutting things I can just put it in there and they're frozen. It's not going to hurt anything. And when this gets full enough then I could bag it if I wanted to do that. But um, you know how often uh, you know people say well I put a plastic bag in there. Well, if I'm cutting stuff, I don't have clean hands. I want to be able to, you know, open that freezer door and put it on there and, and, and let that be that. Uh, but I get about a pound and a half to two pounds of um, fruit and vegetable peels a week. Um, my eggshells, uh, we, we eat eggs. Some people don't eat eggs, but if you do, and even if you don't have worms to give them to, uh, they're great for your garden. Uh, you can, uh, even if you just wanted to like have hard boiled eggs, when you're hard boiling, boiling them and let your water cool and uh, give that to your plants. Uh, you'll get some calcium back into them. Or if you have uh, shrimp and you're cooking your shrimp, save your shrimp shells. Uh, my friend mentioned that his, uh, his dad liked lobster tails, so he Took the lobster tails afterwards uh, take the shell uh, it's easier if you bake it and so it'll make it really uh, dry and then you know you can pulverize that and put these things back into your soil if you have a way of pounding your uh, if you're near the ocean if you pick up little seashells any any of that sort of thing um, the other thing I, oh, I forgot to bring that out was my coffee grounds coffee grounds tea grounds uh, the filters that, that go with it, uh, you might want to check Google and see if your tea bag uh, is actually biodegradable. Some of them are, some of them are not. As time goes on, uh, and people are becoming more aware of it, they're switching back to things that are biodegradable. Little by little, we're getting more of a movement on this. Uh, any of the leaves in your garden, I used to, uh, when we would uh, bag up our uh, shrubs, when we would trim them, uh, those I would bag up and put them out for uh, my recycling. And now I'm trying to run them through the lawnmower and put it as uh, building up my compost. Um, your paper towel and toilet paper rolls, I mean, those are kind of like no brainers. Even if you don't want to save them, you know you can put those out for recycling because that is a, a, a something that's totally recyclable. Um, again, your grass clippings. Uh, some people have mulcher mowers, and that's great. 
Uh, if you don't, then collect your stuff and you can sprinkle that around your, uh, your shrubs. It makes a, a great weed mat. Uh, put your cardboard down first and then, then put it on top and that would be, be wonderful. Uh, one thing I had never thought of until I started doing this was my vacuum cleaner. Uh, it is dusty and you'd make sure you want to do it in an open area or wear a mask. Uh, I have a HEPA filter so I can empty mine very easily. If you have a bag, you can take that bag. And I don't know if the bag is recyclable, to be honest with you, but I would think that it probably is made of something that, that would break down. But if you don't, take it somewhere, open it up, and you know, put it in, in your soil, and it's just putting dirt back out where dirt belongs. Uh, if you have uh, dryer lint and you have strictly cotton clothes, you know, uh, your, your worms will break it down. Even if you have nylon, I mean, I think that whatever is left behind by the worms, it's not going to hurt them. They just aren't going to eat it. Uh, if you have, uh, the reason I brought some things out today, it's just two of us and um, we're pretty controlled on, you know, what we're able to buy versus what we eat. You know, we have that after after 50 years of marriage and, and we're both 72, I think we can figure out that we don't need to buy, uh, you know, big bags of stuff that we're not going to eat or you open it up and you, you know, when you have kids and you uh, have have to have a few different varieties of cereal, then they probably have time to go stale. If you're not and you eat this six days a week, it goes, you go through it very quickly. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you was things like rice. If you make rice and you uh, aren't the person who is going to use it, say, in a soup afterwards or what have you, and you've got it, you can put that in with your worms. They will eat it. They will love it. Uh, mashed potatoes. I mean, who doesn't love leftover mashed potatoes to to make into something. If you don't, the worms will eat it. Uh, breads, uh, crackers. Um, uh, oh, my friend just asked me, he said he takes his oats when he's doing his worms and he soaks them in warm uh, rainwater. I thought that was so sweet. I thought I was, <laughs> I thought I was the best worm nanny in the world, but I think he's, he's topped me. Uh, I do take my oats and I grind them, uh, the Quaker oats, and I put it in my, uh, you could put it in a Nutribullet or any kind of blender. I happen to have a spice grinder and it, it just pulverizes it into powder and then I sprinkle that on the top of my worms and boy, they come up for it like hungry little critters. Um, if you have things like uh, rice cakes, uh, the kids have left the thing open and now they're stale and nobody wants to eat it. Crumble it into your worms. They're champs. So they'll eat it. Um, I have to say I'm not perfect, or this isn't perfect. And you can see I keep mine. I keep pretty much everything in plastic bags. We live in Florida. Uh, I don't have a bug service. We do it ourselves, and we try to uh, not provide any kind of um, hospitable environment for roaches, ants, any kind of bugs of that sort. But um, this is supposed to expire in May and it is the Krusty's buttermilk. Uh, it's a pancake mix and I use it for uh, Belgian waffles. I use it in my Belgian waffle uh, machine. And the last two times we've made it, oof. I mean, they're barely waffles. They're certainly not Belgian waffles. And I think it's just that the um, uh, um, baking powder in it has kind of gotten old. And uh, so I'm, I said to Rick, I, I hate to throw anything away. It's just There's just a tiny bit down there, but I think the worms are gonna get this. And if they do, then that will go towards my thousand pound challenge because I'm not throwing it out. So um, the other thing was, um, I did show you guys the the cork 
But um, popsicle sticks, if you're going to use them for your plants, that's great. But if you have an overabundance of them and you're not using them for any kind of craft project, you can use them in the bottom of your grow bags. Uh, you could uh, pretend you were doing a little hugel culture and put them in your soil. How about things like nail files? Uh, that's, that's totally biodegradable. Uh, things like your uh, nails. If you're cutting your nails, um, you could use that. If you're cutting your hair, it can go into your soil. So anyway, that, that was it. I think I have delivered the message. I hope, against all hopes, is that uh, would make me happy, is that um, each week as I'm doing this, one more person watches and one more person said, gee, you know what? I have all this cotton that I get from my vitamins. I could use that in my uh, worm bin, or I could use it in the base of my plants, or I could use it in my compost. So there's one more thing. So this week, I even went to Total Wines to uh, get some special beer for Rick. And uh, as I was leaving, they, because, you know, they all, because it's total wines and that's what they're selling and beer. And so a lot of people will, you know, bring their, their bottles up to the, um, to the checkout and the lady will grab a, a big box and they have like, <laughs> they have a wall high of, of boxes there and they all get broken down and, you know, uh, recycled, I'm sure. So I, I grabbed a couple, I said, oh wait, <laughs> I can recycle these and count the weight. But this week was kind of a dry week. And this week I only got 14 pounds, 2.4 ounces. And my total for the eight weeks is now up to 155 pounds, uh, 10.9 ounces. So I've fallen under my 20 pounds per week, which would be 160, I'm at 155. But I think I'm doing darn good. And uh, I'm hoping to, you know, catch up as uh, our grass grows and we have other things. But uh, we're certainly getting a very cleaned out garage. That's all I can say. Uh, Rick was cleaning out the garage and he said, hey, do you want these for your challenge? And it was a, a couple boxes he had in the back. Of, Absolutely. So uh, anyway, that, that was it. That was all I have to tell you. I hope this was uh, short and sweet this week and that you guys are going to have a great week and that you will consider uh, taking on this challenge even if you only start now. Remember, a, a year is just a, a, a measure of time. So uh, if you can say to yourself, well, I bet I, hey, honey, I bet we could uh, recycle 20 pounds of, of garbage a week that wasn't going out in the bag. Uh, on Tuesdays, we put out a little, you know, we have the little white bags and it's about this full and that's, that's our trash for the week. And I go up and down the street and I see, I mean, we have big trash bins you know, that the arm, the driver comes along and, and puts out. And our trash is maybe, I'll bet it's maybe two pounds, possibly. I should, I should weigh what we're doing. Two or three pounds, possibly, in going in real trash. The rest goes in recycling. And I see neighbors with that trash can. There's only two people or maybe three. And it is not only filled to the top, but it's open and you can see the pizza boxes are, are in there jammed and you can see all their other stuff. And I think, how do you, how do you get that much trash in a week? I, I, I don't understand it, but no judgment here. So anyway, that's it. I'll say goodbye to you all. I hope everybody has a great Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye. And remember, Garden what you've got. Till next week, see you then.